ان الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قال الله تعالى في كتابه الكريم ولقد آتينا لقمان الحكمة أن يشكر لله ومن يشكر فإنما يشكر لنفسه ومن كفر فإن الله غني حميد وإذ قال لقمان لابنه وهو يعذه يا بني لا تشرك بالله إن الشرك لظلم عظيم صدق الله العظيم As I recited the few verses of Surah Luqman and in these verses Luqman Hakim gave the instruction or you can say the advice to his son Luqman, he was a very popular person in our people and he was from the previous nation and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him the wisdom and also with the educated people in Arab, they have the collection of wise saying of Luqman Hakim. That's why they respected him and they have uh, held him in high esteem. That's why they respected him a lot. And because of this respect, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned the discussion of Luqman Hakim to show to the Arab people that what kind of belief Luqman had and what kind of manners and what kind of man, what kind of ethics Luqman had. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned the discussion of Luqman Hakim here. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said وَلَقَدْ آتَيْنَا لُقْمَانَ الْحِكْمَةِ That we had certainly given Luqman wisdom. أَنِشْكُوا لِلَّهِ And said to him that be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And وَمَنْ يَشْكُرُ لِنَفْسِهِ وَمَنْ يَشْكُرُ فَإِنَّمَا يَشْكُرُ لِنَفْسِهِ And whoever grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in fact he is grateful, this grateful that is for the benefit of himself. وَمَنْ كَفَرَ فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ غَنِيٌّ حَمِيدٌ And whoever avoid the favors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ghani, he is free of need, and he is praiseworthy. In the next ayat, Luqman Hakim gave the instruction to his son. And the first instruction that is about his belief. He did not give the instruction about salah, about zakat. But he gave the first instruction that do not associate someone or anyone with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَإِذْ قَالَ لُقْمَانُ لِبْنِهِ وَهُوَ يَعِذُهُ When Luqman gave the instruction to his son that لَا تُشْرِكْ بِاللَّهِ Do not associate anyone with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So what will happen if anyone associate with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Because that is the great injustice with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala call it the great injustice? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the human being and also he created the human being and he created the whole universe for the benefit of human being. And furthermore, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed the human being with parents. And his weaning, that is in two years. So that is the great favor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala telling us that anishkuli, be grateful to me, wali walidaik, and be grateful to your parents. So if we associate someone with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that is the great injustice with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why Luqman Hakim tell to his son that inna shirk la zulmul azim, indeed shirk, that is the great injustice with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the second instruction of Luqman Hakim that nothing is hidden from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Even it should be the mustard seed, it should be the weight of the mustard seed and whether if it is in the heavens 
if it is in the rocks, in the mountains, and if it is in the earth, so Allah will bring it out. Nothing is hidden from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the unseen, the knowledge of unseen, that is only with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is the second instruction of Luqmani Hakim. And the third instruction, that Ya Bunayya Aqim is Salah. Oh my son, Aqim is Salah, establish the Salah. Salah, that is Mirajul Mu'mineen. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, that as salatu mirajul mu'mineen. That is the miraj of the believers. And in Surah Al-Qasas, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned there that inna salata tanha anil fahshai wal munkar. Salat prohibited you from immorality. That is the big benefit of salah. That's why Luqmani Hakim gave the instruction about salah. And the fourth instruction that wa'mur bil ma'roof wanha anil munkar. Enjoyed what is right. Enjoying what is right and forbid what is wrong. That is the responsibility of every Muslim. That is not only the responsibility of a single person of, or any single organization, but this responsibility, that is the responsibility of every single Muslim. And the fifth instruction, that is, wasbir alama aswabak, that be patient what comes to you. In every moment, if you have difficult time, if you are jobless, if you have no money, so be patient. Because this place, this word, that is the testing place. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in Surah Al-Mulk, الَّذِي خَلَقَ الْمَوْتَ وَالْحَيَاةَ لِيَبْلُوَكُمْ أَيُّكُمْ أَحْسَنُ وَعَمَلَا That he created the death and life to examine you. So this life, that is only the testing place. So Luqmani Hakim gave the instruction to his son that وَسْبِرْ عَلَى مَا أَصَابَكْ that be patient in every difficult situation. And the last two instructions that وَلَا تُسَعِبْ خَدَّكَ لِلنَّاسِ Do not turn your cheeks in contempt from the, uh, towards the people. If you are talking towards people, so talk face to face. Do not turn your cheeks from the, from the people. Because that is the sign of arrogant. And arrogant people Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't like. And the last advice of Luqmani Hakim, that wala tamshi fil awdi maraha. Do not walk exultantly. Because exultance, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't like. In Surah Al Furqan, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned there that wa ibadu rahman alladina yamshuna al al awdi hawna. Those people who are walking uh, with humility. So these people are the beloved person of uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That was the advice and that was the instruction of Luqmani Hakim. So there is a lesson for us as a parents that is our responsibility that we educate our children. We educate our children according to the Islamic rules and regulation. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that Sallu kama wa aytumuni Sallu kama wa aytumuni usalli the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Kullukum ra'in wa kullukum mas'oolun an ra'iyati. That everyone amongst you that is like a leader, like a guardian. And on the day of judgment, every guardian, every leader would be asked about his family, about his children. So that is the parent responsibility that they educate their children according to the Islamic rules and regulation. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala give us the ability to follow Allah in His Messenger. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ability to educate our children according to the Islamic rules and regulation.